This week on Monday Manor, we're looking at the topic of commitment. Sometimes as believers, we want to excuse ourselves, you know, I'm human, so I'm going to make mistakes and I don't make promises because, and so forth. And many persons don't even take on responsibility because they don't believe that they can live up to the commitment. But this week, we want to take a two-pronged approach on that thought. In the Bible, there's many, many, many verses that talk about if you promise to do something, see it out. If you undertake something, see it out. If you have already committed to something and you feel that you cannot fulfill it before you actually do it, talk to God about it. And, beloved, there's many, many ways that we've seen that persons who have made a commitment and don't follow through, suffered the consequences of their actions. Today on Monday Manor, I want to encourage you, first of all, if you feel that you cannot carry through a commitment, and first of all, do not volunteer. Persons will not think any less of you, and that's the problem. We want to have persons see us in a light that is way beyond favorable. And so when there's a task to be done, we'll be first to say, I'll do it. But remember, my beloved, that as believers, there's no such thing as brownie points around these parts. And uh, the second part of the commitment that I want to bring out is, number two, that if you do decide to do something and feel inadequate, then that's fine, because the Bible is clear. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And that's what we need to realize, that God does not use qualified people. He qualifies those who are willing to be used. And so, if you want to be committed to something for Christ, then your first, last, and always approach is to make sure that you dedicate yourself to service and that you always seek his involvement in everything you do. Because ultimately, the Bible says that he is the one who really does the work in each and every one of us. as believers. I trust and pray that the next time you seek to undertake something that you remember that I are watching you. And I believe it's Colossians and also it's mentioned a little bit in Ephesians that we're not supposed to do things just because eyes are watching us. Not to be men pleasers, but to do things because we're serving the Lord. And the Bible says, whatsoever you do, do it with all your might. Don't worry about who is watching. Don't look for accolades, applause, flowers, plaques, and honors. Do it because it is right. My beloved, on this Monday manner, I want to encourage your heart that when you make a commitment, either for the Lord or for someone else, you can follow through. You don't have to be afraid of being inadequate. You don't have to be afraid of of not being able to complete the task because at the end of the day, my beloved, you have to remember that it's not I, but Christ that does. May God bless you abundantly this Monday and every day after. God bless.